You made a robot! Wow, Woody! Can you show us how you made your robot? started with some 22 gauge wire and some wire cutters. We cut three strips of wire. Next, we stripped both ends of each wire. To make our robot work, we needed to build a circuit. We used a 2 AA battery holder, a small motor, and a switch. We connected one of the wires from the battery holder terminal to one of the switch terminals, the second wire from the switch terminal to the motor terminal, and the third wire from the other motor terminal to the second battery holder terminal to form a loop. Next, we cut an eraser off from the end of a pencil and pushed it onto the motor's shaft. We used an old CD to make the base. Using a glue gun, we glued the motor to the CD. The glue gun is very hot, so make sure to get some help from an adult. We also glued the battery holder to the motor. Then added the batteries. Using electrical tape, we taped the batteries, the battery holder and the motor together. To make the robot's head, we used a plastic dome lid, a little bit of faux fur and some googly eyes. We used the glue gun to stick the googly eyes. And faux fur to the lid. Lastly, we glued the lid to the base. Now we can turn on the switch! But Odie, how exactly does a robot work? Do you want to find out? A battery is made up of three parts. An anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. The anode is the negative end of a battery and the cathode is the positive end of a battery. The anode is full of electrons which have a negative charge. These electrons are trying to escape. The cathode has protons which have a positive charge. Protons and electrons are attracted to each other. The protons try to pull the electrons towards them. For a battery to work properly, we have to stop this from happening. The electrolyte is a barrier that prevents the electrons from the anode to move directly to the protons from the cathode. Instead, we connect a wire from the negative end of the battery to the positive end to help the electrons move from the anode to the cathode, creating an electric circuit. When a switch is added to the electric circuit, we are able to control the flow of electrons around the circuit. When the switch is turned off, this creates a break in the circuit and the electrons cannot flow anywhere. But once the switch is turned on, the electrons can resume moving from the anode to the cathode.
Bum 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 b